I'm Yashis, and this is your FDC in 90. To start things off, let's talk about one of the most broken Q&As that we've gotten this season, question 250. In this question, it is asked to clarify the extent of rule G427 in the game manual. To summarize, it says that in the last 30 seconds of the match, or endgame, a robot may not contact an opponent robot if any part of either robot is in the opponent's ascent zone, regardless of who initiates the contact. If either robot is in violation of this rule, it results in a major foul and the affected alliance robot is awarded a level 3 ascent. Now, in question 250, it is said that their team was told any contact within the submersible in the final 30 seconds of the match between separate alliance robots, while both are in the ascent zone, results in a major foul and an automatic level 3 ascent for both robots. According to the GDC's response, this is the correct interpretation for rule G427. This essentially means that if the robots are collecting samples in the last 30 seconds, an opponent robot can simply touch them and get the other team a major foul as well as ascent points for themselves. As always, please read question 250 and rule G427 for yourself and make sure you understand it clearly. Do not take this video as official. Be sure to check out a replay of the FTC Top 25 voting on the Fun Robotics Network YouTube channel. Shout out to Team 10644 Cybooks for getting voted number one. Make sure you vote in the FTC Top 25 for future months. That's your 90 second update. I'm Yashis.